Hey guys, what's going on? This is Yuri Makis, and today I have another review. I can't speak, such an Asian boy. Um, today I have another awesome review for you guys, the uh, ACR. And as you can see right now, um, I just decided to uh, go. What is this guy doing? I decided to go into a game. Aw, oh, damn it. Crap. I'm trying to go for hitch. Oh, that's a lag. That's. What is this guy? Oh, my God. Please don't come around here. Please don't come around here. Oh, he went around. Okay, so. Today I got the ACR. I just decided to do another live com because. Uh, just for the first half. Okay, so. Um, as you can see, I got this. Uh, damage the piston upgrade, which only affects damage, so it becomes a stronger four shot kill, becomes a weak. Th it becomes a oh, sorry about that. That was just one of my clan mates talking. Oh, it has it, oh, that's actually pretty nice. So, I recommend an ACOG scope on this uh, pre upgrade. Oh my gosh, you can't spray for crap. Oh man, I'm dead. Oh man, oh my goodness. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to give me that. You know you want to give me that. Oh, I'm running. Good game. Alright, so. As you can see, uh, I just got the piston upgrade. It, ma it does. Actually, it does affect the damage. It makes it a little bit. It makes it a much stronger four shot kill. Instead of being a weak to medium four shot, it's now like a strong four shot. And I'm not quite sure if we can three shot. I think it might be able to th weak three shot on a, a light vest, but I'm going to be doing damage testing for you at the end of this video, as well as recoil tests with the different upgrades. So since I only upgraded damage, um, I, that's about it. It's really nothing. Uh, it's 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 makes it it's it's pretty good actually, but uh, it's it's nothing too spectacular. Oh, I s dang it. I was going for that. I thought he was AFK. All right. So, um, this gun is, uh, you, I, <laughs> I can't speak. Okay. So I purchased this weapon for permanent when it was on sale for perm. It was a hundred K GP. What is, oh, I get chaos. It was a hundred K GP. And, um, I really liked it at the t time. And then as soon as I got it, I just customized it. And then I got the, uh, the piston thing on it. Alright, so the next upgrade I'm going to try is the one for accuracy and recoil. It affects both accuracy and recoil. It's, I'm going to see how it changes the pattern, how it changes the amount of recoil, and just how good it can be. Because if it can... Because um, the next good customizable weapon, like this one, um, it's only real competition in terms of... Oh, damn, turret. Um, it, it's only real... Cus um, competition in terms of customizability is the M4A1. And uh, I'm gonna do a another. I'm gonna do a review on that one actually. Um, I actually kind of like that. I already upgraded a little bit, but as I did not upgrade the uh, accuracy or the uh, recoil on both of these weapons, cause I think that that really will affect how this gun works in uh longer ranges, which is what uh, assault rifles are pretty good at actually. All right, so as you can see, I'm using an ACOG. It works really well because with this recoil. The, the iTech is just going to screw you over. The iTech is honestly only for low recoil weapons. This weapon is... Oh my gosh. I thought that guy took out the turret. Um, I thought that this uh, this gun was only for... Um, wait, what was this saying? Um, you can only use the uh, the iTech scope for uh, close quarters engagements. And like sometimes... like This spread isn't as good as the M416. But it's still fairly good. And I really like it. Alright, so... The M416 CQB uh, has the forced eye tech. This one doesn't, which is pretty good. But a lot of the ACR um, Sandfire and Black Snake. No, no, just Black. No, 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 my bad. Sandfire does not have it. Black Snake does. All right. So the ACR has two variants the NX variant, the Sandfire, and the NX rear variant, the Black Snake. Black Snake comes with the forced eye tech. Not really good, actually. All right, so the ACR is a really solid weapon. You can customize it. The only thing that you can't do is increase its fire rate, which is honestly completely fine because you're not supposed to be spraying this too much anyways. And if you do, it ma it just makes the reco recoil a little bit harder to control. And uh, I don't like if I could upgrade the fire rate, I probably wouldn't just because it would make the gun a little bit worse, in my opinion, in terms of spraying and stuff. All right, so. Um, as you can see, just by what I've been doing so far, a lot of the times I'm going to be tap firing medium ranges and long ranges. I I like in close ranges. I might spray or burst, which works much much better. Um, 
Oh, lol. Oh, I'm just gonna kick that guy. I'm really tired of QQers. This is pissing me off. Oh, I heard him. I was wondering where he was. Alright, so, this ACR is a really solid weapon. It has medium recoil. It has uh, a little bit above average damage if you put on the piston stuff on it. And uh, without the upgrades, the customizations, it's a weak to medium four shot kill and its recoil just doesn't make it worth it but um with the customizations i really think that this is a worth a weapon worth getting i'm gonna just kick this person all right so um this weapon comes with no attachments you can put on whatever uh, damn it you can oh my goodness okay you can put on whatever you want on this weapon and um the best part about it is that um like this, there's not a lot of weapons that handle the ACOG too well. Um, I mean, no, let me rephrase that. There's not a lot of weapon. Oh my, what, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hold on a sec. I think I lost my train of. Wow, we suck. Tea bag. <laughs> All right, so there's not a lot of weapons in this game that can handle the iTech too well. Uh, for example, M417 doesn't handle it too well. I think that, the, in my opinion, the only um, weapon that handles the iTech well would probably be the FAMAS G2 or the M416 CQB. All other guns, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm just saying that it's not advisable. Alright, so as you can see right there, usually I think it's two or three sh Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just check it on some noobs in here um, in a sec. But I, I think that it's a, it's a... It's a very strong four shot and a weak three shot, I think. It's a definite three shot to the back, of course. And to the nuts, it's probably three. To the head, it's a one. Oh my goodness. They're in our base. Why? Alright, so uh, this weapon, if it's used in Papa server, uh, I'm not going to show you footage of Papa server actually because I don't really need it. It doesn't really uh, change exactly how much this gun works, except maybe you can spray it a little bit better. Come on, you wanna you wanna pop your head out? You wanna you wanna pop it? Oh my goodness! All right, so um, I'm gonna do just a quick recoil test before we just totally get butt raped. All right, let's look at this. So I can, as you can see, first two bullets. Damn, only two bullets do that. And like this, it's like the first two bullets, and then it starts going horizontal. So you can you can burst in like two to three shots, but I don't recommend it. Alright, so now on to the, uh, I'm going to upgrade the barrel right now. Alright, so I'm back, and now I'm going to cu customize this uh, ACR. Let's see what it does. Barrel accuracy upgrade, uh, level 3, of course, and as you can see, it accuracy and recoil. Now, I'm going to test to see if it increases or decreases the recoil, because that's a little bit iffy. And perfect. So I'll see you guys in-game. Hey guys, so I'm back in game and let's just test this out a little bit. Hmm, I think that the the spread actually decreased. Sweet. So the size of the crosshair is decreased, as you can see. And I did test it earlier with the M4A1 to see if there was actually a difference. So there is better uh the crosshairs are tighter. Let's check this recoil pattern. Oh man. Alright, but but that was enough. Let's just check this. Alright, let's do some action, baby. Alright, this is much better. The recoil pattern has become much, much better. Uh, I still recommend a tap fire because there is quite a bit of recoil. But, like, the this uh, spread, uh, it has lower recoil, actually, by the way. And it has a better spread. So, you can spray and burst better in close and medium ranges. But in long ranges, still tap fire. But you can, you can't, I like, I didn't notice a difference in recoil recovery. But uh, it's still pretty good. All right, so on to the stats. Uh, dang it, damage of uh, 38, uh, portability 62, rate of fire 74, accuracy 80, and recoil 62. Now for the damage point rating of 38, since I put on a piston, um, yeah, it's a four shot. It's a strong four shot kill. It's probably it might it sometimes might three shot on a uh, light vester and it will definitely three shot if you hit the nuts. All right, so and it's a it's a medium to strong three shot to the back. All right, so uh, this weapon um, I recommend to use in medium ranges because I think that that's where it's going to excel best 
because it it does more damage than the M416 CQB. I, I think now I'm pretty sure actually it does more damage. Um, it doesn't have as low of a recoil, but with that more damage, it has a faster DPS and it's still and with this upgrade, it has a less recoil. Even though it has less recoil, I still recommend the ACOG because I just hold on a sec. Oh my good fail aim. I heard something. Wait, so um, I still recommend an ACOG just because I'm an ACOG fanboy. But um, that might change, actually. For M4A1 has pretty low recoil regardless. But uh, like this weapon, it's it's really good. But sometimes it, I feel like, oh, man. <laughs> sometimes I feel like this this weapon doesn't do me justice. Because like, I'm used to the G36C's uh, recoil recovery, and it's not as fast as the G36C. It's very close how is that not a headshot come on and it's really really close to the um to the m46 m4a1 no 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 it's no no can't think my gosh it's close to the g36c's recoil recovery it has less recoil and uh it, i th really think that th that the new customization system has really changed a lot of the w weapons and i don't know why i switched targets oh damn it um so so I really think that this, you guys, if you guys have overlooked this, please give it a try. Um, I hope that during Christmas time, they'll bring this weapon back. It's a really solid weapon. I highly recommend it with these new upgrades. It be, damn it. It makes it a really good weapon. The only downside that it's only for the GP ACR. So none of the other ACRs can do this, I believe. So I'm just going to do some more of these uh, customization um, stuff. Oh, um, by the way, um... I am going to actually. I'm gonna have to show you guys the end of this uh, this uh, review later. Actually, I I just have one thing to say. Uh, the YouTube comments and uh, yeah. So I actually um actually, there's one more thing I haven't addressed about this weapon. Uh, the fast, super fast reload. Look at this. Pop it in. Don't need to cock it. You just pop it in, and you're ready to go. All right, so uh, Google JSC says that the ARC, the ARC, I think he means the ACR, dot, 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 nice gun if upgraded to the top, low recoil, low spread, nice accuracy, slow fire rate, use extended mag too because it rolls really fast. Completely agree, except for the part about the slow fire rate. I really think that it's not that, I mean, I guess it's kind of slow, but it's it fits the gun really well and I uh, have no problem with it. Alright guys, so I'm just going to cut the footage and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on my final score and peace. Oh yeah, one last thing. Uh, tell me what you think about the M4A1 for a chance to be in my next review. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.